We did the interview last night. Look, the video is going to be a key piece of evidence in the criminal trial. That attorney is not yet releasing the video publicly, but we asked to see it to better understand exactly what happened. You see what appears to be 18-month-old Chloe cross over to the side of the ship, and she stands right in front of a big bank of windows that appears to extend for probably 20 yards. A man the attorney says is her grandfather is seen following her. He toddles right behind her as if he's watching her. This picture was given to us by the family attorney who says this is an identical representation of the railing, which is about, I'd say, a foot in front of the actual glass on the side of the ship. The surveillance video that I had a chance to look at appears to show the grandfather. He comes to the railing. He looks over the railing for just a second. He then reaches down. He picks Chloe up, and he appears to hold her over the railing, not outside the window, but just over the railing. The family attorney says the grandfather didn't realize there was no glass directly in front of him. Within five seconds, you see him holding Chloe, and then she falls about 150 feet below. Here is family attorney Michael Winkleman. Why did he lean forward with her? She's sitting on the wooden banister. Why did he then lean forward with her? I think it's pretty obvious why they leaned forward, and that would be so that you could get a better view. What do you say to the fact that he raised her and put her on this banister, which the cruise line might argue was not meant for young children to be sitting on it? If that was the case and they wanted no one to sit on it, they should say no one should sit on it. There's no sign that says that. There's no warning, no nothing. Counselor, it may be hard for some people to believe that the grandpa didn't know that that section of window was open. How did he know that there was glass? The only way that you could prove or disprove anything that Sam said is based on the video and based on his testimony. Those are the only pieces you have of evidence you have. There are no eyewitnesses. There's no one else who's come forward to tell any different story. So all you have is Sam's testimony, his story, and the video. After Chloe fell out of the window, the grandfather dropped to his knees, according to the family attorney, and he yelled out loud, I just dropped my child. I thought there was glass. I thought there was glass. Uh, we have reached out to the cruise line, Royal Caribbean, for comments so far. We have not heard back. They have called this a tragic accident, no. and since a lawsuit is going to be filed, uh, they said they'll have no comment beyond that. It is a tragic it accident, is, yes. no doubt. I mean, no the question, question is, yeah. is it reasonable for a parent to have expected there to be glass in that window? From what I've heard from you, it seems pretty reasonable to me. I've yet to see any kind of uh, anything that would overturn the, the family's account. The family's now going to decide whether they want the video to be released publicly. Ooh, that's that would be decision. very hard because that means it exists forever online. Yeah. This, is, this is the worst day of their lives. Boy, that's a tough one. But, but punishing parental error adds uh, a legal insult to what is already an irreparable injury to this family. Yeah. And Tony, it is interesting. Again, it's about 20 yards of glass, right, yeah. from floor to ceiling. Yeah. And then there's that one, one section. Case. Well, when you look at empty. the photograph of it, it looks pretty obvious it's not there.